So on this wonderful Friday, Director James Comey of the uh, FBI stated to lawmakers, I'm not reading anything, I'm just trying to recall the article, uh, that he would, or that Clinton's emails are currently under review once more. This is almost four months after he um, said that, you know, he wouldn't recommend criminal charges back in July. We're 11 days away from the election, and Trump seized on this opportunity, as that CNN article said, and told us we can't let her get her, her scheme into the Oval Office. We have to stop it. We have to band together. And Clinton, uh, you know, in her uh, position, stated that um, she, you know, hoped that the you know, investigation just hurried up because people are voting now in some states and that, um, you know, she is confident whatever's found on there will not, you know, change the conclusion that Comey had several months ago. You know, it's amazing to me how, much, you know, I've spoken about this before, especially with the debates, how much continuity we have with uh, this election cycle. And I guess it might be due to the fact this was really the first one I just was, you know, the entire time it went on, just into everything everybody was saying. Um, you know, that might be the cause of it. But, you know, even with that being said, I still, I mean, it, it's so, I don't want to say it's rewarding, but it's really interesting to just think of how, like, I still remember that day in in March of last year when uh, Clinton first answered questions about the email server, and it was shortly before she announced she was running for president, and I remember I was sitting here just watching that on TV and just thinking, oh, there's no way this thing is going to, you know, encompass her uh, campaign and sure enough it has <laughs> you know you never can predict this stuff I swear um, and I, I really thought it would be over at this point though you know wh whether it when we got to July of, of uh, this year a few months ago I was pretty convinced that okay well now it's definitely over you know they'll, they'll, I, I know they'll talk about Benghazi and Whitewater and every other scandal and probably just a little bit too but there's no new information uh, coming out on it it's, it's done and then here it comes again. Um, and this is really interesting because Trump, for um, all intents and purposes, was having a, a very bad time with these polls. Um, you know, because of that, people were talking about a Clinton victory ahead of time, even though ironically he called on us to just elect him already and to, you know, act as though he, he, he made it seem as if he was winning. Let's put it that way. Um... And, you know, he kept up his veil of confidence and wants your supporters to think that they're um, on the losing team. But those polls, you know, were not in his favor. And so now he's seeing this this pivot over the last few days, um, which, you know, that's not to say this email thing just threw everything out of whack. But it definitely is part of a major shakeup that Clinton is experiencing within the last few days of running for president before the actual election takes place. So it, it, it's, it's all, um, very interesting. It, it you know, um, this stuff really has been incredible to me. I just love how it's as though every day there's some major development or somebody says something that gets, you know, an appropriate amount of coverage. And, you know, I just talk about it a little bit and not for that long because it's not really that much, but the main things to take away from here are the fact that this email scandal isn't going away, and you have to ask yourself, if they're talking this much about it um, in you know during this election cycle, how much are they going to talk about it if she wins or if she loses? You know how different would it be if you know depending on what situation she's in after this cycle, you go into a presidency and we already think the president's a crook. <laughs> Uh, but then if you criticize her, you're, you know, bashing the first uh, glass ceiling breaker. And it, it's so sad, you know, women by and large um, are not liars. At least no, no more liars than men are in my view. Um, that's me preaching my equality. I know that's a very unsuccessful attempt. But nonetheless, 
I don't see women in general as liars. So when you try to make her out to be the person I'm supposed to think of it when, you know, I think of women in politics, I just disgust me um, because I know they're not like that, at least the majority. So that's just my opinion. Thank you for watching and have a good day.